Hello everyone and welcome once again uh, to another how to uh, handle a dungeon guide. Uh, we're going to do the Valley of the Water aka the Nagathe dungeon. This dungeon is actually pretty dope. I don't dislike it. I actually pretty much like it. Um, there is one little specific thing that you need to know and I'll tell you guys about it and, and how to get to the boss because the boss is, is a very special one. I'll explain the boss once we get to that room. Beforehand, are there any uh, prerequisites in terms of uh, classes that you should use for this dungeon? Absolutely not. Any class will do great in this dungeon. There is no specific class that you want or need. Anything will pass to be fair. And yeah. The one special mob that you'll get, you'll get them in the second, I think. No, no. In the third room, the fourth room, and the fifth room, which is the Quamurai. The, the Quamurai is a special mob. I'll show you the Quamurai in its uh, room, specific room once we get there. And yeah, if you guys are doing the Eternal Harvest, that's how you get a Quamurai. Uh, this dungeon actually has one specific thing that will make it a lot easier, definitely at the boss battle, is if you have the bow spell that you can get from Kirei-san. Now, you can do that quest, you can get the bow spell and basically do it. It makes the, the, the dungeon a lot easier. Uh, it basically makes sure that, you know, there's a, there's a small chance that you take control of the, 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 the actual Quan that you, uh, you are targeting with the spell and then you can just summon the actual uh, bomb that you need anyways but you'll, you'll you'll understand once we get to the actual boss and I'll explain it's not needed by the way it's just a way to make the actual dungeon a lot easier I am going to speed things up and I'll see you guys in a bit enjoy <music> Here we are at the third room of this dungeon is where you're going to meet the Quamurai. The Quamurai himself doesn't really hurt. It doesn't do anything special other than give the other mobs a huge buff. It basically gives them a huge buff. It's either HP. It will give them a little some, some, you know, a special little effect. Other than that, the Quamurai is pretty much harmless. You can just DPS it to death. Um, that's basically it. If you want to catch a Quamurai, I recommend catching it here. Or with the boss, of course, if you finish it and you want to soul the boss, you can definitely do it. You'll need it for the Eternal Harvest. Here are the statistics. So, the Quamurai. Well, the Quamurai has a, a grand total of 2,900 HP up to 3,300. If you have 8 people, if you have 4 people or less, it will have about 2,900 HP. It's weak to air and it's a little bit weaker to water. Other than that, it's uh, it's pretty resistant to earth and fire and neutral. There's nothing really specific to talk about other than yeah, here here you know, then then that that's that's the Quamurai. Once you see it, catch it and yeah, let's move on. I'm going to speed things up all the way to the boss. Enjoy the songs and I'll explain the boss once we're there. So yeah, see you guys in a bit.
and here we are once again at the boss battle now before we do anything i will be introducing you to the boss this is the nagafe the lady of the valley of the water nagafe itself uh, i'll show her right now the nagafe itself has about let's say 4200 hp uh sorry no 4900 hp my bad all the way up to 6900 hp it is weak to fire and it will have a resistance to air and water it's not too shabby you can still dpr so pretty easily now here is the thing about the nagate that you guys may not know the nagate itself is not a major problem in this dungeon or the the quapas as a matter of fact the actual problem of this dungeon is that once turn one starts the nagate will automatically teleport from the start of the fight into a perch on the top right side of the map in a secluded little island that you need to get to she will also be invulnerable to actual long distance attacks that means the only way to dps the nagate is actually to go to her close combat to get there and this is what i meant by if you have the bow spell it will be a lot easier to get there you need to make sure that one of the quapas summons a water bomb instead of a water cucumber this may happen between turn one or turn you know 15 so you gotta get lucky with that one unfortunately as long as there is a quapa there it will summon it sometimes the nagate will summon it but most likely not so make sure that you keep at least one of them other than that if you have the bow spell you can utilize it to instantly get control of one of the quapas and then use the uh the actual summon water bomb and then summon it against the top right uh corner of the uh of the map closest to the little island where you'll be able to literally cc the bomb with a very low and i, I truly mean a low ap cost and very low dps if you can so that the bomb survives longer and it will teleport you towards the little island where you'll be able to cc or close combat the actual nagate to death if you're doing this dungeon i recommend you use any class to be fair as long as you have the spell any class will do if you don't have the spell any class will still do uh as long as it has cc dps otherwise just equip yourself with a weapon that is full cc uh the idols that i recommend are of course double yoshi you know greater yoshi and major yoshi and double dynamo greater dynamo and major dynamo because you don't really care about boosting uh the quapas or the actual uh nagate because they do very low damage and the nagate will teleport you back into the main map every end of her turn so she will teleport you back every time so yeah you gotta redo the the the, the actual small ap cost spell on the bomb again and again and then go dps her every time there are ways to fool her uh with afeka you can actually fool her by you know putting down a agus she'll teleport the agus instead of you so you can you know you can work with that other than that yeah there you go that is basically the nagafe let me speed up the video and yeah enjoy the music guys cows and apache helicopters <music> Thank you all once again for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. If you would like to help out the channel, there's a link in the description below. All you have to do is follow it and you will get what I mean. Anyways, if you like what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. And hit that notification bell to stay up to tune. See you all. Bye-bye.